We've got a new tool to play with. What's happening guys, my name is Jamie, this is the Norwich Reptile Shed and in this video I'm going to be playing with this new tool that I've purchased. This is the Solometer 6.5. So with this tool we can measure the UV index of our UVB lamps which is really useful as there isn't really any other way of testing it um, and up till now we have relied on just changing the lamps regularly, normally a year, nine months um, and hoping that everything's okay. So with this tool, I can double check the position of my lamps. I can double check the uh, health of my lamps, um, which is crazy useful. Um, the, the only reason I haven't purchased this um, up till now is just that these are quite expensive tools. Uh, but it's come, it, it's been playing on my mind recently that uh, I've potentially forgotten a few of the dates on some of the enclosures of when I changed the UVB lamps uh, which is really bad reptile keeping I'll strongly suggest you don't do that and uh, yeah learn from my example uh, and keep a proper date um, the only thing I can say is obviously where I've been building new vivariums changing stuff up moving animals around and having a brumation period I've just kind of lost track a bit on the health of most of my lamps um, so with this tool I can make sure that they're okay I can make sure that lamps that are over a year old might not need changing and I can make sure that the uh, more importantly the lamps that I'm currently using are good enough and uh, providing the correct amount of radiation for the animals okay so let's talk about the document that you get with it uh, first of all and it kind of it's, it's really helpful for telling us kind of what the numbers on the screen are going to mean um, and how we can kind of relate this to the animals so um, obviously we're starting right at the beginning zone one so uh, crepuscular shade driller that sort of stuff crested geckos leopard geckos um, working all the way down to sort of really you know high intensity stuff all the way down to chuck wallers and euromastics so most of my animals are going to be within this sort of area um, the only ones that are particularly sort of important um, are going to be testing the zone sort of free for our bearded dragon rocky and daisy uh, the herman's tortoise so i just want to make sure the uv is nice and strong for them guys i know it is because they're fairly new tubes they're certainly new tubes uh this spring um, so uh, yeah I'm not gonna have a problem but we will go and double check them but then for all, for all my other stuff uh, I'm kind of working around the one to two kind of area um, and we'll see what we get okay so we're gonna start in the crested gecko enclosure um, so I know this is an old lamp um, I haven't replaced this for a while it could possibly even be a lamp that I had in another enclosure that I then moved to this enclosure. But I have done a quick test and it's still got a little bit of life left in it. So if I just open this up, I don't think we can see the cresties. Mm, no, they hang out in this tube. Uh, so uh, yeah, but if we, so obviously we've got the Arcadia uh, Shade Dweller up here. Um, so if I sort of put this around here, we've got, a reading of 0.9 a reading of one there which is pretty good um, so these kind of branches I mean these guys don't actually really hang out uh, too much but well in the Sun most of the day but I do have one that kind of occasionally sits in this area um, so if it was sitting in this area you can see that it's getting a reading of 0 0.8 0 0.9 so that's that lamp still got life left in it um, that might mean that in a couple of months time this might need changing but certainly uh, 
sort of puts my uh, mind to ease that I know these guys have got access to UVB and it is within the range of the uh, of the zone one kind of uh, kind of numbers that we should be aiming for. Right, what should we go to next? All right, let's head towards the reptile room. Hello duckies, just out of interest though. There's actually more UV currently, or more UVB, currently in the crested gecko vivarium than there is in the garden in 24 degree Britain. It is cloudy, so uh, that is a thing. Yeah. There we go, interesting, interesting. All right, let's have a little look inside. Oh, it is warm in here. We have got 27 at the moment. So today has been quite a hot day. Uh, everything's back to having its lamps on. Um, so yeah, let's, uh, who have we got on first? Let's have a little look at Daisy. Daisy is currently having an afternoon nap. That's probably it for the day for her to be fair, but we've still got her UVB on here. So this is the Reptile Systems Ferguson Sewn uh, Free Lamp. So let's have a quick look. It's going to be hard to see the screen and that all at the same time. 3.6, 3.2, 3 3.8 there, 4, got up to 4 there, 4.55. So that lamp is lovely and healthy, giving off loads of UV rays. Um, that's really cool. It's really cool to know. So uh, yeah, this is really awesome. Okay, we've got Ty, Ty and his beauty snake. So they've obviously got this three foot tall vivarium that um, is kind of my my standard size for my six foot. So I've got four of them currently and I will have six of them eventually uh, when we can afford to do that. But uh, if we have a quick look now, got 2.2 which is great. She actually uh, lays across all this, all this area up here. I've obviously got the lamp mounted up here. So we've got 2.2 up to three there. So there is plenty of life left in that lamp. Um, even sort of the lower end. So yeah, I'm really happy with that, especially as obviously this snake isn't three foot away from the lamp. She's, she's always laying across there. I might even try and find a photograph to throw in there. And um, yeah, so, that's interesting. Let's have a look at Mr. Pine, who's got the same lamp um, fitted at, I believe, the same time. I'm not entirely sure. This is my problem. I've kind of forgotten some of these dates, uh, and I've been a bit useless at writing them down. So you might want to kill me, which is fun. You, uh, let's just, we're not eating today, bud. You ate yesterday. All right. Got 1.3 there, 1, 1.5. So that lamp, obviously this basking spot's a little bit lower. So I might actually in the future, when it comes to changing this lamp, which is pretty, actually I'd say quite soon, uh, I might go for a higher percentage lamp. You see nothing there, not too much there. 1.1, 1.2. So yeah, uh, that lamp, we can note down as needs replacing and maybe put a Ferguson sewn free lamp in there to account for this greater distance to the basking spot there. So, uh, yep, there we go. Uh, very useful stuff. What should we look at next? Okay, so we're in the Royal Python vivarium now and they like to kind of sit up on this top ledge here, but now I can test this. I obviously mounted that dead in the middle now I can test this, I don't have much of a reading dead in the middle and on the on the ledge I've got very little as well. So what I'm thinking now is mount this lamp, if I had this lamp there which is sort of the distance, see I could go, I could go up again, I, could, uh, I think this lamp this lamp is uh, is worn out, so I could change this lamp, but actually change the position of it to above this um, ledge here to create a zone there where there is um, lots of UV. So that's worth knowing. Um, yeah, 
Also, there is a millipede up there. That's mad, isn't it? We've got a royal python hanging out down here, and then six foot off the ground, we've got a millipede hanging out right at the top. Uh, that is insane. Now then, we're in uh, Penny's vivarium. So she's just she was fed yesterday, so she's hanging out over here. Um, she's got C5 lighting above there, and it's quite interesting. So we don't have much of a reading on the floor here, as you can see. But where she basks sometimes, up on here, we've got two, 2.1. So we've definitely got enough, um, enough, enough radiation there that she can have access to UVB if required. I mean, last vivarium is the Lion Day Gecko vivarium, and I'm not particularly happy with these numbers either. As we can see, we've got a rusty mesh lid so that's not helpful um, this is the old style vivarium um, the old style exoterra so i may need to actually uh change this out to a uh, change the mesh out because you can't buy the replacement lids anymore um, but i am getting sort of higher readings towards the top but i'd rather them be uh sort of lower down the vivarium so uh so yeah, that's that's one that I'm going to look into as well. So there we go. Really, really useful tool. Really happy with this. Um, and uh, it's definitely going to change the way we keep, uh, change the way, well, change the way I keep uh, the reptiles and just, yeah, keep on top of the UVB, which is uh, really handy to know. So I hope you found that video useful guys, I certainly did, and I'm going to use that to um, change some of the lamps out, change the positions, um, and I might even film a video sort of showing how I do that to kind of uh, cross-reference to this video and how we sort of discovered those problems and how we're going to fix them. Um, and that is the key to this, is just, you know, not everyone's perfect, not everyone does everything uh, amazing first time, we can learn things and uh, we can adapt the way we we keep our reptiles and that is how we advance in this hobby so thank you very much for watching guys if you want to support the channel please head over to my instagram my facebook page uh, please like subscribe and if you would like to uh, join us on patreon i can feature your name at the start of the video for just three pounds a month and that will help pay this crazy electric bill uh, so i'll catch you in the next video see you later